Have you ever wondered what a secondary constriction or nucleolar organizer is? Let's dive right into it. Secondary constriction, an intriguing component of a chromosome, is a feature that exists beyond the primary constriction or centromere. It can be found at various points on a chromosome, yet it remains constant in its position and extent. This constancy makes it an invaluable tool in the identification of specific chromosomes within a set. Moving further, the region distal to the secondary constriction, that is, the area between the secondary constriction and the nearest telomere, is known as a satellite. Hence, chromosomes with secondary constrictions are often referred to as satellite chromosomes or sat chromosomes. And here's an interesting fact. The nucleolus is always associated with the secondary constriction of sat chromosomes. Therefore, we also call secondary constrictions the nucleolus organizer region or NOR for short. So, next time you look at a chromosome, you'll know that secondary constriction isn't just a random notch. Now what about these so-called satellite chromosomes? Well, here's the fun part. Picture a chromosome with its secondary constriction, that region that lies beyond this constriction, stretching all the way to the nearest telomere, is what we call the satellite. It's like the suburbs of a chromosome city, if you will. Now, it's important to note that not all chromosomes have these suburbs. Only those chromosomes that possess secondary constrictions earn the title of satellite chromosomes, or for the science geeks out there, SAT chromosomes. It's a unique feature that sets them apart in the chromosome community. So, we have these SAT chromosomes with their secondary constrictions and satellite regions standing out in the crowd. And it's this distinctive architecture that gives them their name. Satellite as in something that's secondary or orbiting around the main body, much like how these regions orbit around the main body of a chromosome. And that's how we get the term satellite chromosomes. You might be wondering, where does the nucleolar organizer part come in? Well, that's where things get intriguing. You see, the nucleolus, a vital component of a cell, is always associated with the secondary constriction of satellite chromosomes. This connection isn't just a casual relationship, it's a critical function of how our cells operate. The nucleolus is essentially the cell's factory for ribosome production. Ribosomes, if you recall, are the machines that manufacture proteins, which are essential for nearly every function within our bodies. The nucleolus then is a significant hub of activity within each cell. But how is the nucleolus related to our secondary constriction of satellite chromosomes? It's simple, really. The secondary constriction is responsible for hosting this essential nucleolus. This specific region of the chromosome, with its distinct narrowing, provides the perfect place for the nucleolus to reside and carry out its crucial work. Because of this important role, secondary constrictions are also known as nucleolus organizer regions, or NOR for short. The term organizer is quite fitting here as this region essentially organizes the presence and operation of the nucleolus within the cell. Satellite chromosomes, which have these secondary constrictions, are often referred to as nucleolus organizer chromosomes. This highlights their unique role in housing the nucleolus and facilitating the essential production of proteins within the cell. So, the secondary constriction isn't just a distinguishing feature, it's quite the organizer, isn't it? Let's take a moment to recap what we've learned today. We delved deep into the realm of chromosomes, focusing on an often overlooked aspect, the secondary constriction. This is not just any point on the chromosome, but a specific constant position that aids in identifying particular chromosomes within a set. Then we ventured into the fascinating world of satellite chromosomes, these are chromosomes with secondary constrictions, named so due to the satellite-like region they possess. This region, found between the secondary constriction and the nearest telomere, is a distinctive feature of satellite chromosomes. Lastly, we explored the nucleolar organizer, an integral part of the chromosome. This organizer is always associated with the secondary constriction of satellite chromosomes, hence the alternate name nucleolus organizer region or NOR. 
And so, satellite chromosomes are often referred to as nucleolus organizer chromosomes. Through understanding these complex cellular structures, we gain a deeper insight into the intricate workings of life at its most fundamental level. From secondary constrictions to satellite chromosomes and nucleolar organizers, we've journeyed together through the microscopic world within our cells. We hope you now have a better understanding of secondary constriction or nucleolar organizer. Stay curious and keep learning.